Salomon's Sensroid trail running shoe was one of my favorites back in the day. And the, the first version of it was a brilliant trail running shoe to run in. And I wore out several pairs. However, after that, I do feel it lost its way a bit over the years, but it is now back with a vengeance and the new Sensoride 5. Lots of great new updates, including a full energy foam midsole. So let's dive into the video. We're gonna give you a few facts and figures about the latest construction, and then we're heading outside, we're hitting the trails, and we're taking these for their first run. Thanks for joining us for another First Impressions video. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. It's great to have you guys back and don't forget if you do enjoy the video or you find it helpful to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Only takes a second to do by clicking on that little red box down there in the corner and it is completely free but it really does help the channel out. So we're back with another update to a trail running shoe from the Salomon brand but uh, this time round compared to the pretty much unchanged Ultra Glide 2s that we looked at in the last video, there's been some big changes and updates made to the Sense Ride this time round. Firstly, let's talk all about price and the Sense Ride now retails in the UK for £130. You've got lots of colour options to choose from, so actually five in total. Big fan of the black and red colourway, but I also like the colour option that we got sent. I think it's a really smart looking shoe. We've got an 8mm offset and a very precise stack height of 29.6 mil under your heel and 21.6 mil under your forefoot. When it comes down to weight, this shoe in a UK 10 weighs in at 305 grams. Starting off with the upper construction and we've got this engineered mesh to provide you with good levels of support, breathability, flexibility, and most important, durability. Salomon have worked in their Sensi Fit technology and that basically means it's got a gusseted tongue in that upper that kind of forms a band that wraps around your midfoot to give you really good lockdown, providing a nice sort of snug and secure or fit around your foot. Like most trail running shoes from the Salomon brand these days, we get their patented quick lace system. So no sort of traditional shoelaces here. We just got this cord system, slide down the locking mechanism, that locks into place and you are ready to run. So makes it nice and easy to get in and out of the shoes quickly. We got a moderate level of padding in the tongue and around that ankle collar to make you feel nice and comfortable, but still allowing you to get that all important secure lockdown. Salomon Salomon have added a good number of structural overlays, wrapping around the midfoot, around the toe box and those lace eyelets, just to give that upper construction a bit more substance and durability. And then finishing up, we've got good levels of protection in the toe from a bumper and a handy little pull tab on the heel. Moving down to the midsole, and like I've already mentioned, this is where we're seeing some of the biggest changes. And these are updates that I personally think are really gonna improve the feel and performance of the Sense Ride. And that is the introduction of a full energy foam midsole. We're seeing more and more shoes in Salomon's lineup utilizing their highly cushioned, high energy returning foam, whether it be in their road running lineup or their trail running range. The energy foam should give us a much more sort of bouncy, cushioned, lively, responsive ride when you compare it to the previous version, the Sense Ride 4. So really looking forward to testing that out on today's run. Also worked into that midsole construction, we've got Salomon's Profil Film. So that's there to offer you good levels of protection and stability when you're running in rocky and technical environments. And finishing up with the all-important outsole and the new Sense Ride has Salomon's all-terrain Contigrip outsole. Now Salomon claim that this has been designed to work on a, a big variety of surfaces and to offer durability and confidence when running on dry, wet, loose or firm trails. Now notice they didn't mention muddy trails because it has only got a 3.5 mil lug depth, very similar to the Ultra Glide 2. So I think it would struggle with a bit of traction in really muddy conditions. So I kind of see the Sense Ride 5 being a, a good sort of spring, summer, autumn trail running shoe. 
So there it is guys, the latest update to the Sense Ride franchise from Salomon and all the changes that have been made. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, our last one was when we took the Ultra Glide 2s out for their first run. I really enjoyed how it ran, but I was a little bit disappointed how similar it felt compared to the previous version. So let's get these on our feet and let's see if I'm right about the introduction of that new energy foam midsole and we'll see you guys out on the trails. so far so good just over three miles in already and uh one good thing is the legs are feeling like they're attached to my body again if you saw the ultra glide two first impressions you'll know i was really struggling with my hamstrings and my quads after red in half and it was a proper struggle so it's good to have the legs back i'm actually filming this video on easter sunday and if you're not familiar with cornwall here in the uk this is when the big holiday season kicks off, so it does get very, very busy in Cornwall, especially out on the coast path where we normally test shoes and into Hiddy Woods, believe it or not. So I thought I'd change the scene today and come down and do our first impressions run down by Hale River. It has featured on the channel several times. I've been down here on the bike and on some runs, but I want to show you something first before we continue the run because uh, there is some pretty wicked graffiti on this fly over here. They've done some artwork and it's pretty impressive. So I'll show you what I mean. I mean, how cool is that? That is what you call a proper bit of graffiti. ET and even down in the bottom there, go home. Round the other side, we've got this. How cool is that? And it doesn't stop there. We've got more to see. And we got this one here. So all pretty impressive stuff. Not your normal sort of tatty graffiti. Some proper artwork on the walls, but that's enough of the art down here in Cornwall. Let's get down by the river. And I think we got some mud to contend with first. I always hate taking a brand new shiny shoe through the mud, but I don't think we're gonna have a lot of options. Pretty wet, pretty muddy, so let's see how we go. Okay, it wasn't too bad. We managed to tiptoe around it. We haven't really had a lot of rain, but when the, uh, when the tide comes in, the river levels rise up and this whole path will be underwater. So it can be pretty wet and pretty muddy. And uh, yeah, the shoes are not clean anymore. Oh well, never mind. Nah. Wow, it's so muddy. Wow, that was a lot muddier than I thought it was gonna be, but you know, it's a good test for the shoe, good test for the grip of the traction on the outsole. So let's crack on. Let's keep working these legs loose. There I am waffling on about the artwork and my legs, and I forgot to mention how the shoe's feeling. So first things first, another Salomon shoe that seems to work really well for my foot shape. Nicely locked in around the midfoot from that Salomon Sensi Fit technology and really well held in the heel. So no movement, no slippage. I just feel really well connected to the upper. As far as the fit goes, again, I've gone up half a size in the new Sense Ride to a UK 10. Length is perfect, so I would say they are a little bit small on sizing. When it comes to volume and width in the toe box, I'd say maybe there's a little bit more space when I compare them to the Ultra Glide 2s that we tested the other day. Definitely the right call coming down by the river. Nice and quiet down here. I might come across the odd dog walker, but that'll be about it. Okay, so we have made it to the turning point. We've done five miles already and it went so quickly. I think that's because my legs are actually functioning again. And like I say, the miles just flew by. As far as the new Senseride 5 goes, uh, the addition of that energy foam midsole, like I thought, has definitely made the shoe feel a lot more comfortable underfoot. And if I'm honest, having ran the Ultra Glide 2s uh, just the other day, 
The two shoes feel very similar when it comes to feel and performance. It's always great getting out here by Hale River. You get a nice quiet run in, but I'm also getting some flat miles in because at the end of the day, my legs are still recovering from Reading Half Marathon. You used to actually be able to follow this river route all the way across to Penzance and pop out by the stunning St. Michael's Mount. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of erosion by the river and the bank's fallen into the river. So they've actually fenced it off now and you can't get through. Such a shame, it used to form an awesome route. We used to run quite a lot on the St. Michael's Way, a sort of 22, 23 mile, real varied route, bit of inland trail, coast path as well. Um, like I say, we don't get to run it anymore these days. Uh, not the end of the world. Obviously living down here in Cornwall, we've got some epic trails to get out on, but we're turning around, we're heading home. Should be about eight, eight and a half miles today. So really good news. Legs are feeling great. So let's get back. Let's see how this goes. pretty much done and the wind's picked up a bit so I just tucked in behind the wall so you can hear me. We got 8.3 miles on the watch already, probably another mile till we get home. So a good nine mile plus run in the legs. Uh, shoes have performed well, super happy with how my body's feeling. I really feel like I've uh, achieved some of this run and it has flushed things out of the system and loosened the legs up. It was a lot muddier out there today than I thought it would be. So this is one of the downsides of a light colored shoe when you're running in the UK this time of year. It doesn't look uh, that pretty anymore. Not like it did when we started the run anyway, but let's head home and then we're gonna break down the performance of the new Sense Ride 5 in a bit more detail. We'll see you guys there. Okay, so that's two new Salomon trail running shoes tested over the last couple of days and a good steady 17 miles in the legs. Glad to say everything's feeling a lot looser now and this video will actually be going up on the channel on Tuesday. So I should have also seen Kate and had a good sports massage by now. So everything should be feeling on track, uh, which is a good thing because come this weekend, we are gonna be racing at the very challenging KVK down here in Cornwall. If you're not aware of the fantastic KVK race, there's quite a few videos on the channel of previous years, but it's put on by good friends, uh, Freedom Racing. It's a 15 mile looped route with a thousand meters of elevation. Pretty challenging event, but one of my highlights of the year. I just love running on that route, especially if the sun's out, it is a spectacular place to run. We're gonna be sponsoring it with headline sponsors this year, Salomon. So I'm just putting together some goodie bags that we're gonna be handing out to the winners. Obviously, we're taking the cameras along and we're gonna capture how that day unfolds for you guys at home. But back to the shoe in question, the all new Sense Ride Fives and how did they feel out on today's run? And the answer is, they felt pretty good. Maybe not as good as the original version, a shoe I loved running in, but I do think this is the best version of the Sense Ride for some time. Nice and comfortable out there, handled those sections of tarmac really, really well, and it feels like a trail running shoe now that could handle those longer distances with ease while still giving you a good level of sort of underfoot connection and ground feel. You could probably see from some of them GoPro clips that there were some pretty muddy sections out there and way muddier than I was expecting. And the outsole of the new Sense Ride actually coped with them pretty well considering it has only got a 3.5 mil lug depth. Uh, I didn't have any losses of traction or falling over or anything like that. Although I would still like to see a slightly deeper lug on the Sense Ride because I just think it would make the shoe a lot more versatile. Uh, fitted my foot shape really well, felt very comfortable. Uh, I would say the Ultra Glide 2's upper maybe is a little bit plusher, uh, but both shoes definitely work well for my foot shape. So I had no irritation, no rubbing in either shoe and they just both felt very comfortable straight out the box. So all in all, I think it's a pretty good update this time round by Salomon on the Sense Ride. However, I have been left a little bit confused because now 
Now that the brand have added energy foam to that new midsole, the Ultra Glide 2 and the Sense Ride 5 are actually very similar performing trail shoes. Then you throw in that same Contagrip all terrain uh, outsole with the same 3.5 mil lug and the Profil film, and you're left with two Salomon shoes that pretty much feel and perform the same within their trail running lineup. Obviously, this is just my first run in the new Sense Ride 5s, and I'm going to continue to get out there on the trails and put good miles into the shoe. And then I think it'd be really interesting to do a kind of head to head between these and the new Ultra Glide 2s to see which model comes out on top. So if you'd be interested in seeing that video, get in the comments below and let us know. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Really hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. We'll be back here very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. It makes it really easy to get in and out of the shoes quickly. We've got a moderate level of cushioning. Cushioning? No, no, it's padding. I personally like the black and red colorway and the pair that we've got hold of. I think the colors that Salomon have chosen makes the shoe look, makes the shoe look really smart. Now they've added the new energy foam to the midsole, the Ultra Glide 2s and the Sense Ride 5. five. five, 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 five.